for being with us. We start with an I-Team exclusive at 6 o'clock. Connecticut workers are complaining that the program that was supposed to keep them afloat while on medical leave is now backfiring. The Connecticut Paid Leave Authority started taking applications, and Chief Investigative Reporter Matthew Campbell is learning many have been approved, but they have not been paid. Matthew is joining us now with more. Matthew. Yeah, Mark and Aaron, so far the Paid Leave Authority has nearly 40,000 applicants. 13,000 people have been approved and $58 million in benefits have been paid. But we are learning some who have been approved have gone months without a payment. Hi, I'm Dori Kalos. I'm 35 years old and I applied for and was approved for the Connecticut FMLA program, but I still have not seen a dime. I'm Candy Windsor, I'm 75 years old and I have a problem with the Family Medical Leave Athletic of Connecticut. I have not received the full amount of money since I've been out February 7th. My name is Bob Moreau, I'm 64 years old, and my problem right now with the Connecticut Paid Family Leave is that it's been two months that I haven't received a dime from them. These are some of the stories of Connecticut workers who applied for benefits through Connecticut Paid Leave. Candy Windsor had a hip replacement, Bob Moreau had back surgery, and Dory Kalos had a baby. CT paid leave is supposed to tide them over financially while they're out from work. Aflac pays out the benefits and the amounts vary based on income. It's supposed to be 60% of my income. But 780. All reached out to the I-team raising concerns about the program's efficiency. Windsor's payments haven't been in full, Kalos hasn't received any payments, and Moreau's application has been pending for weeks. With no money coming in from their jobs or the state, some are really feeling the strain. I had to take $3,000 out just to hold myself over until they made up their mind when they were going to send me anything. We took those concerns to Erin Chiquette, the chief operating officer for CT Paid Leave, who acknowledges there have been issues. We have heard those frustrations and we um, completely understand it. It's Our program exists for people to get that income replacement when they can't work. So when there's delays, we understand that's a problem and we're trying to work through it. Officials tell the I-Team the source of the backlogs started with the Omicron surge in December and January. It happened just as the program started taking applications. Our January numbers were actually about 30% higher than we anticipated. Officials say as applicants were navigating this new program, they didn't realize that simply having COVID and quarantining was not covered. Rejecting many Omicron applications snarled the system at the very beginning. We just got a lot of claims for people who weren't covered, but we still had to process them. And CT leave is still playing catch up. We're not at a consistently good process for everyone. Now, program officials don't have a clear timeline on when delays will ease up, but they do say they are continuing to improve the technology and will continue to train their employees. But for the Connecticut applicants in constant limbo with no money, they are urged to use the Contact Us page on the Family Leave website their info will then go to the internal benefits team with the goal of getting personalized service. Live here in studio, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.